here it is, pointed out before, when we let this off, it's not going to look that different to a normal black cat, <laughs> which is exactly the way it was intended. But it is a rendition of the pathfinding, the new technology, the zero emission technology for the future, and very proud to be here today with Kit Malthouse, Deputy Mayor of London, uh, Chair of the London Hydrogen Partnership that is looking to drive this technology through to vehicle fleets in London. So at that point, hand over to Kit. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Um, uh, on what's now a very exciting morning, because London um, has a problem. One of the things that's in short supply uh, in this city is clean air, or cleaner air. Um, and there are many people out there who think that the solution to that problem is to go back to eating lentils and padding around in our Birkenstocks. Um, whereas in fact, in fact, like many of the problems that have faced uh, uh, humanity over the years, um, the real solution to it is to apply our minds and our brilliance and our ingenuity uh, to solving that problem. And one of the biggest problems that we have um, in London is around taxis. Taxis account for something like 20% of PM10 emissions in the city. And you will all, those of you who are Londoners, will have stood at the side of the road watching black cabs, diesel black cabs, belching fumes um, into the atmosphere. And I uh, occasionally cycle in a bit behind them and so have had mouths full of this stuff. I'm sure it'll show in any x-ray. Um, and so uh, doing something about taxis um, is absolutely key. So we were delighted delighted when our friends at Intelligent Energy uh, decided to apply their ingenuity along with their partners at Lotus, uh, LTI um, and at TRW Connect uh, to producing a solution to this problem. And what we have, what we're going to show you is, is something that's truly extraordinary. It's a vehicle that will get you around, that will do everything that taxi is supposed to do, but will do it with zero emissions. Um, and the Mayor has set a target, as many of you will know, uh, for the taxi fleet to be zero emission by 2020. And so being ahead of the curve by producing this vehicle um, shows yet again that Intelligent Energy and their partners are willing to apply themselves to that problem. So we're extremely pleased uh, that this vehicle is here. Um, it's very welcome in London. We hope you'll build some more. We know this is only a, uh, a prototype and a lot of time and energy and expense will have gone into developing that prototype. But it does show the way forward. Um, and as I've said many times before, there are lots of technologies which will be involved in the, uh, uh, the uh, quest, if you like, for a zero emission city. But for my money, um, hydrogen has to be the leader. Uh, we want to look at lots of other areas, hybridization, electric vehicles. But really, in the end, um, my view is hydrogen will offer a uh, comprehensive long-term solution. So this kind of innovation is key. One of the things, though, that's going to be key um, to the advancement of these kind of vehicles is getting the fuel. It's all very well uh, developing the vehicles, but without access to the fuel, they'll never really become commercial. And as some of you will know, one of our other big projects here, as well as trying to get a fleet of 150 vehicles of different types in London by 2012 uh, in hydrogen, is to put in a network of six hydrogen refueling stations across the city at strategic locations. So on the basis of kind of if we build it, they will come. There's a chicken and egg at the moment. If there's no fuel, the vehicles won't come, and the vehicles won't come unless there's fuel. So we're going to put that down over the next uh, couple of years and hopefully help to stimulate um, the market. We're bringing in five hybrid buses, uh, sorry, hydrogen buses later this year, um, and there will then be uh, two refueling stations, I hope, by the end of the year, with the others to follow next year. Um, and what we hope is that that, plus innovations like today, which are, are fantastic, and come off the back of the hydrogen uh, moped, which was launched here uh, not very long ago, another intelligent energy um, uh, project. Um, but off the back of those, we can really plant this acorn of the first comprehensively hydrogen city um, in the world uh, within the next uh, uh, couple of decades. So on that note, thank you very much. Thank you to Intelligent Energy. Thank you all for coming on what is a, for me, marks a fantastic advancement um, in getting towards a city in which I can breathe, but also get around uh, without any guilt. Thank you.